So, some good news, but also some news that pro incredibly proves that these quack defenders that I always get all the time telling me that Big Pharma would not even invest a single drop of money into any sort of natural cures um, can quite frankly go do one. Because today we're talking about EBC46. Now what is EBC46? Well, it's a new, well not new, it was discovered a couple of years ago, but a new um, drug or that they are testing that is, comes from the blushwood tree that is found in the rainforest in Australia. Now, what does this do? Well, the trials indicate that when um, injected into a tumour, it gets rid of it. Now, a lot of these uh, tumours that they are testing on are uh, external. They haven't done any testing on metastatic cancers, so there's still a lot that needs to be learned. It's basically, um, at the time of doing this video, they are going into a phase one clinical safety trial, which has nothing to do with actual the effectiveness. They are basically testing to see whether it's actually safe to use it on humans. And this is good because, first of all, A, possibly a new cancer drug. Great news. Can't deny that. Um, the second thing was, it proves these quack defenders completely wrong. I can go through hundreds of comments that are going to be, and even comments that are going to be below on this video saying that, oh, Big Pharma will never allow this drug through. Well, it's being allowed through. People know about it. It's gone through to a clinical trial. Um, <laughs> it's pretty much there, I'm afraid, guys. Um, sorry, but as I've said right from the beginning of doing videos about, you know, these alter alternative health people, they've got no leg to stand on when it comes to this alternative health um, big pharma conspiracy. It proves them 100% completely wrong. Now, what has been quite funny to see is that a lot, a lot of these um, um, natural, na nat um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> Uh, naturopaths and herbalists have been going, oh, we've known about this for years. And then you look to see if they've got, you know, anything dating back prior to the discovery of this blushwood tree, only to find out there isn't a single article written about the discovery of um, EBC 46 prior to its initial announcement back in 2012 when they initially found that it could have these properties. There isn't a single article dating from one of these guys prior before that initial announcement, basically meaning they know nothing. Not only that, but this uh, particular uh, berry grows in the Australian rainforest and is quite rare. So they knew nothing about it. The second, uh, well, the third most important thing you need to know is if anyone out there is offering you these berries or thinks that they can grow these things and just you know eat them you're in for a bit of a surprise because believe it or not these berries where the compound comes from is incredibly poisonous do not have take any of these berries at all these are toxic to you uh, if you eat them the substance itself is a single isolated compound of about 500, I believe, that is actually in this berry. So if any of these, you know, naturopaths or guys start selling these berries, um, they're incredibly toxic. And this is probably why you haven't seen them actually sell them, because they know it is, but they just don't want to admit it. But there you go. Some good news. Mixed in with a bit of bad and possible a potential warning to anyone out there considering, you know, actually going to try and track down these berries and actually start eating them. It would be a very, very bad idea.